Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. Uh, if you've been following along with our series on designing uh, and building these uh, custom flagstaffs, um, in today's video, we're going to show you what it took to uh, mill the wood and design for fit, form, and function. Um, it, this is what's left of the, uh, the white oak uh, as it came from the lumber yard. Um, so what it took for milling it from a board like this to getting it at all the proper shape, form, curvature, and fit to end up with our final flag stuff that you see here today. So stay tuned in this video. We're going to show you how the milling process went. Thanks. So in our last episode, we showed you the digital design uh, concept for making uh, this two-part flag staff. And so now I'm going to show you, now that we've actually uh, cut the components, what we have here. So we have two components here. This is the top on the left and the bottom on the right. And what we've done is, is we've carved in um, this dowel and socket for the dowel to fit in. This is this was carved out of the actual piece of wood. This isn't a dowel put into it. This is all continuous parts of the wood. The, the reason for this is, is that it's going to give us a very, when we combine the two together, it's going to allow us to perfectly make sure the parts are on the center axis and align perfectly. Um, the other part that we talked about and I showed you in the design was creating um, uh, these slots to uh, put in uh, a spline. So the beauty of the splines is, is that it, it serves a very uh, a functional and utilitarian purpose, which is going to be to create a lot of strength for this beautiful joint um, to make sure that this acts as one single uh, long flagstaff and it is very strong and can withstand the rigors that it's going to go through. Um, but the other beautiful part about uh, using a spline is you know, I could use a spline that's just made from the same piece of wood when we put it in there um, and we, you know, sand it, finish it, it would essentially disappear and you wouldn't see it. But when the time is right, you can actually make splines to be a beautiful part uh, of, the, of the design itself to make it actually stand out rather than disappearing. So in this case, we've decided to make some custom splines uh, right here. And so this spline is made out of uh, a sandwich, basically on the top and the bottom is mahogany, and in the middle uh, is, is this same material right here, the white oak. So I'm hoping that when we finish it, the white oak in the middle will essentially disappear into the rest of it, and you'll see the two little uh, strips of mahogany uh, that come to a nice curve on the end on the outside. So uh, here's how this all gets put together. So this slides into here. Um, this all is cut from a single piece of wood, um, and the grain is meant to match. So there we go. That lines up from top to bottom. And then uh, we're going to fasten our spline, which fits perfectly in here to this slot we're going to fasten it in there and uh and we're going to do that ar around the whole the whole circumference of this piece and then the goal is to end up with uh, a beautiful looking joint that will really stand out once we get a nice varnish finish on here so first we started off with uh, milling the rough white oak from the lumber yard into uh, square long blanks uh, that would serve as the material for making the flagstaffs. If you turned into our introductory design video on this series, you will remember that we're making each of these flagstaffs out of two separate pieces of oak due to how long the flagstaffs are and the inability for such a long flagstaff to fit in a traditional lathe. So the first thing we need to do is to mill a plug and a socket on the top and the bottom halves of each of the parts so that when it comes time to assemble them, they will fit together with their grain matched perfectly and align perfectly down the center. 
The next step in the process is the rough milling of both the top and the bottom portions of the flagstaff. Again, if you turned into our uh, initial design video, you saw the design that we created and that digital three-dimensional model turned into our uh, code for using the rotary axis on our CNC machine to carve out the rough shape um, of the tops and the bottoms. Uh, and also um, in this last photo that you'll see, we carved in the splines that will add uh, strength and stability and beauty into uh, the flagstaffs when they are assembled together, which we will address and show you in the next video.